Mario Kids is Game Maker tutorial. Check this out. This is my nice pad here, huh? Well, today we're not learning about the sound maker or the scene maker or the music maker or the sprite maker. No, we've already done that. Now we're in the coding. The problem is, there's too much coding to put in one video. So this is the first of several. So why don't you sit back and learn something? If you like gaming, especially on an old computer like this. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> now let's get used to this working area here. Well, if I take this arrow and go up to menu, what's on the menu? Oh, we have the sprite maker, the sound maker, the scene maker, and the music maker. But I've showed you how to do those in other videos. So let's go back to the editor. This here, it says file. That's where you can load and save your programs. Go file, I can load a program, I can save it. Initialize disk means to format your disk. Initialize means to format a blank disk in order for you to put programs on it. But beware, it will erase everything that's on your disk. Ooh. Delete lets you choose which file on your disk that you want to get rid of. And if you have a printer on your Commodore 64, you can print out the program. Make a disk will compile your program that you just made into one file, and then you save it on a blank disk that you insert. After your program is made, you won't need to load Gary Kitchens to play your game. You can just boot off the disk. Well, let's go clear the program here. Clear. Are you sure? Yep. So Let me show you how to put a scene on here. A scene is a background. If I go up here and I'll say, Scene 1. Hmm. We'll go Archer. So what happens when I hit Run? It shows a scene. This scene is called Archer. Scene 2. Hmm. What are we going to make that? We'll call it Shore 1. Let's run. There's Archer. I don't see the other scene. Because you can only see one scene at one time. Hmm. Let's go up here. Ooh, it says display scene two. What's going to happen? Oh, it's a different scene. Hmm. So it displays scene one by default, unless you tell it to look at the other scene. But suppose I delete this. And I hit display other scene. Which one do you think is going to show? This one. Now I'm going to show you how to print on a screen. Let's take and put a screen on here again. Archer. So first we got to tell where to print. Print at row zero. Column zero. And what am I going to print? Hmm. Charles. Charles is the best. Let's see what it says. Ooh, Charles is the best. However, suppose I want to print a different color. So before it prints, let's insert print color one. No, let's go with color three on top of color zero. What that means is each scene has four colors. The Commodore 64 is limited to how many colors you're allowed to have. So you have to use one of the colors that's in your scene. Let's run it. Ooh, Charles is the best. It's yellow. The sun must be yellow, so it uses the color from the yellow. Yellow must be color three. If I change it to color two, Oh, now it's green. But well, wait a second. So if I change this to color three, would that be yellow? It'll be green on yellow. Let's look. Just like that. So color zero must be blue. 
Now suppose I want to take and print at row two. Wow, it wrote it two times. Well, actually, you never deleted the first one. Once you print on the scene, it permanently prints on there, unless you print over it. So if I print on row one, oh, what? If I print zero on zero, it's going to write blue letters over the top one. That way, it'll blend in with the sky. Kind of cool, huh? All right, let's try something else. We'll go back to scene one, and we'll make it Archer again. But this time, we're going to change the color. The color one in the scene, we'll make it black. Ooh, the mountains are black. What if I go like this? Scene, color one, color two. Let's make that black. Ooh, it's like nighttime or something. Oh, now the moon's black. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the pause command and the jump to command. It's kinda cool. Let's pick a scene. Archer is scene one. Scene two is shore one. I'm gonna go over here and put a number there. Then I'm gonna write display other scene. I'm gonna pause for one second. And I'm gonna jump to label 101. So it's gonna go in a loop. See what happens. After every second, it switches a scene. Switch, pause, switch, pause, switch, pause, switch, pause. Interesting. Pausing between scenes isn't the only thing you can do. You can do all sorts of things like pausing when sprites do stuff or after music or when a sound is played. The possibilities are endless. Now let me show you how to put a score on. Let's choose our scene again. What was that, Archer? Score one at row zero, column zero. Let's see if the score's on there. No, you don't see a score. You know why? Because there's nothing on the score. Let me show you. For example, add 10 to the score. Now there's a score on there. What else can I do to the score? Well, let's try this. Let's put a number right over here. Let's pause for a little bit. Add 10 to the score. Jump to 101. Hey, look, the score is climbing. Oh, doggone it. I'm out of time. That means I gotta make another video. You know, this coding stuff takes a long time to learn. And if you try to learn it all at once, your brain's just gonna turn into doo-doo. Doodoo sinks. Woo wee. In the meantime, you can just keep practicing what you learn. And then stay tuned for the next Charles video. Maybe I'll even put it up in the, in the corners or something. You can click on it. Till then, see ya, alligator.